Well, hi guys, I'm Celestia Shadows, and welcome back to Was. And I think we left off on trading with Lynn. Hmm. Turn right here? Wait, or is it left? But the map says up, so I should jump up? I'm going to see Lynn. I'm trying to find her place. Relying on the map, Rosary drew for me. She should have asked Julia or Mirna to make it. She's got no talent for drawing. The more I look at the map, the more I feel like I'm losing myself in another world. Needless to say, I have no sense of direction, which only makes it worse. While I'm looking around for a way up, a bunch of thugs approach me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lost your way? I can help you. In exchange for everything you've got. Uh, my feeling was right. Rosary told me that Lynn lives in the most dangerous quarter of the slums. But I failed to avoid danger, despite her warning. And if we really want to make it cliche, that guy from before should show up right now. The man in the jump jumpsuit looked at me with some sort of weird emotion comes to mind. Things would get even worse if he showed up. And my bad premonitions often come true. Oi, oi. Hey, that boy is mine. Ew, there he is! How did that man get here? See what I mean about bad premonitions? Wait, I saw him first. You but you're gonna have to wait your turn. We did. And you can sell that kid's clothes for enough to buy tons of food. The thugs start crawling with the man in the jumpsuit. Hey, this might be a good time to start running. Sorry, but I don't deal with straights. So I'll be off. I try to run while they're arguing with each other. Hey boy, you can't run. I won't let you go. Don't worry. It only hurts the first time. Take part in this rosy pleasure with me. I'll use my muscles to help you become a man. The man in the jumpsuit says with a shiny toothy grin. His pleasant smile gives me a chill. I have no idea what he's talking about, but my instincts tell me I'm better off not understanding. So I should just run while the thugs are distracted. And I try to turn around without them noticing me. Since that the atmosphere has suddenly become tense and sharp. This change in the air it turns the savage mood into the slums far more chaotic. What makes it so? Uh-oh. I see a man with an aura of danger. Hey, don't mess with us. Yeah, get back if you don't want to get hurt. The thugs and the man in the jumpsuit yell at the person who just arrived. This is no good. How uncomfortable this place is. But it's inevitable for those who have never been taught good manners. Y you! The man in black suddenly appeared. I've been looking for him for a while, but I didn't expect to see him here. Don't mock me, dude! Oh, I see you're at least competent enough to know when you're being mocked. They start arguing with the man in black. Hey, stop it! Can't they see how tough their enemy could be? I can't believe they can live somewhere like this without considering that. 
Even I, without any skills in martial arts or fighting, can tell that the man in black is really dangerous. Oh. Well, well. You seem to be smart. That means you'll live longer. In contrast, those scum are either daredevils or imbeciles. Man in black stares at the thugs. That alone makes me shiver. Today's not my day, I guess. S sorry, we'll leave. The man's case scared them off. Sato, Jamamono ga kieta tokoro de. Panashi o shimashi o ka. Now, that the nu nuisances have been dispatched, shall we talk? Ah, ore mo omae to hanashi ga shita katta shi. Chodo ii. Sure. I've been wanting to talk to you too. I find him very intimidating, even when he's just standing there. Les is way more likable by comparison. But I didn't expect to see you on this side. Hmm. Huh? Me on this side? What do you mean? Oh, my apologies. That's for me to know. I can't stop thinking about his words, but I'll come back to that later. There's a lot of information I want from him. No, Mr. Tadayoshi. Or should I call you Karula? I wanted to ask you last time, what does Karula mean? I had a headache when I met him last time, but I'm fine now. So I'll try to squeeze him for every bit of information he's got. I don't know about that. Then, how do you know I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa? <laughs> how do I know? He said he wants to talk, but he doesn't seem inclined to answer my questions. Hey, can't you try to keep the conversation ball rolling? I have lots to ask you. <laughs> Do you think that I'll tell you everything without something in exchange? I see. You're not giving away free information. So, what do you want in return? Depending on your price, I could pay. But, I suppose you want me to pay in favors or work, rather than anything tangible, right? You're very intuitive, Karula. In that case, I'll let you to make a deal with me. I thought so. What do you want me to do then? Tell me your favor so I can consider it. I believe he knows everything I want to know. I think. Unless something seems really unusual, it's best to accept its offer. First, I 
I want you to wake Viridis. Viridis is still in the middle of the night. I want you to wake up with your hand. I want you to wake up with your hand. Paradis is still a chrysalis. I want you to catch it and wake it. That's your first step. Kurula means blue, and Viridis means green. So, if I'm Kurula, then is Viridis someone else? I can't do anything unless you tell me who Viridis is. Don't worry, you're destined to meet Viridis. Viridis is what it is. That's what I know. Who or what is Viridis? You'll find out. That's it. Hey, I can't understand a single word you're saying. I don't know what he really wants. Catch it and wake it? What does it mean? When you were the leader of the team, I was the leader of the team. When you have fulfilled your task, you will meet me again. When you have fulfilled your task, you will meet me again. あなたが私の取引に答えられる状態で再び相まみえること。I hope that when I see you again, you are in a position to accept my offer. After those words, the man in black turns around. ちょ、話はまだ終わって。Wait, we're not done yet. Before I finish my words, there's a gust of wind forcing me to shut my eyes. Was that a dream? I'm sure I only closed my eyes for a few seconds. But the man in black disappeared in an instant. There it is. I don't know if it was a dream or an illusion, but his word, there it is, is stuck in my head. No point in thinking about it for now. I have to visit Lynn. Without more information, I can't do anything about it. So, I have to tackle what's directly in front of me. I'm sure this is it. A small rusty hut comes into view. Rosary's map says this is Lynn's place. If it's not, I can always just run. Playing with the kids at the church has made me really good at running. Hmm, is she away? I knock on the door a few more times, but nobody answers. I guess Lynn must be off somewhere today. Come to think of it, I didn't tell her I'd be visiting today. But I had no way to contact her. Okay, she's not here. Uh, I think I should go come back later. Just as I decide to return to the church. Who's banging on my door? Are you trying to break it? Didn't it hit the door knocking nearly as hard as Lynn just did opening it? Oh, she's in. She stares at me, looking very disgruntled. Did I interrupt a nap? Hey, don't, don't make me jump. You almost gave me a heart attack. Huh? Who are you? Huh? It's me, Tadayoshi. Remember? Tadayoshi? Sorry, but I don't know any kids who look like you. What? I can't believe it. Len doesn't know me. How's it possible? That reaction combined with the situation I'm in. Maybe I really don't exist after all? <laughs> and of course she's joking around. Lynn suddenly starts laughing out loud, clutching her stomach. Huh? What's going on? Sorry, but boy, you're really funny. Uh, I was really freaked out. I said I was sorry, but it's funny to see your... Thoughts so plain on your face. So, what brings you here today? I'm here because of the promise you made me. 
Teach me how to use Hanfu like you do. I saw you use them yesterday. Okay, I remember my promise. But, you need to warm up first. Do a lap around the town. Sure. I know how important it is to warm up. I've heard you should... I've heard you should never work out without warming up first. So doing some running before I get started is obviously a good idea. Wait, are you coming with me? Huh? Why should I run with you? You can do it alone. Um, start running on my own, or you keep convincing Lynn to run with me? Um, I guess I'll run on my own. I can't believe that I have to run alone. Fine, but I'm telling you one thing. Yeah? Get close to Lynn and stare at her. What? What? I'm sure I'll get lost. Huh? So I'll be getting back here really late, but not because I'm slow. Lynn sighs, looking at my serious face. Okay, I get it. Can't you just start running? I don't have time to deal with you. You don't get it. Shut up and just go already. Lynn shouts in anger and then turns back to her house. Lynn doesn't know how bad my sense of direction is. But she doesn't seem to be coming out again. I think I'll have to run on my own. See? I'm lost now after all. Where is Lynn's place? I could ask Rosary for her address, but I don't know where the church is. Try to look around, above and below, but everything looks the same. Why is the scenery here so similar? There are countless alleys and it's impossible for me to remember them all. Isn't that Tadayoshi-sama? I hear someone call me from behind. Huh? Oh, it's Nina. When I turn back, I see Nina, with Lise pushing her wheelchair. W wait, why is Nina here? Am I dreaming? As I say that in a rush, Nina giggles at me. It's not a dream, Tadayoshi-sama. It isn't. We were on our way to the church to see you. Please, you speak too much. Sorry, my lady. Judging from their conversation, this really isn't a dream. Lisa's is not, still not too friendly with me, but she's incredibly polite to Nina. Are you thinking something bad about me? Lisa stares at me with the murderous aura. N no, I'm not thinking anything bad. I don't know why, but anyone with skills in martial arts also to be good at reading minds. Never mind that. What are you doing here? Nina interrupted us at the perfect time. I'm running. Running? Nina looks at me with wonder, while Lise looks at me with suspicion. I try to think of what I can do in this situation. I don't have an answer yet, but I think I should at least be strong. If I'm strong, I might be able to protect those around me. I can tell Nina my true feelings without fear or embarrassment. I think it's because we've been friends for a long time. Distance didn't matter since we exchanged letters. That's great, Tadayoshi sama And if something I say and if I say something cheesy like that, Nina just accepts it. So I can be honest with my words to her. I said I want to be strong, but at the moment I'm just out for a jog. It's difficult for people to take the first step, but you've done just that. It's quite admirable, Tadayoshi-sama. Nina looks at me with a full smile. Thank you, Nina. I pat her head. But hey, we said you were on the way on your, were on the way to the church to see me, right? I remember the chatter from a while ago. Is there anything going on at the church? About that. Are you serious about what, what you said? Liz broke her silence, and it seems like she's slightly angered. About what? Can't you understand her? That's enough, Liz. I know Teddy Yoshisama is always like that. Hina smiles and gives a not-so-convincing follow-up to Liz. 
But my lady... Liz tries to argue, but she has to stop as Nina shakes her head no, with a smile. I try the one at fault for not realizing something, but it should be fine as long as Nina forgives it. You don't have to worry, Teddy Yoshisama. Oh, okay. It's nothing you need to worry about. I just wanted to come over and play. Nina pauses briefly to smile at me. But you're Chani, so perhaps this is a bad time to visit the church? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. We've done nothing wrong. Nina shakes her head. Tadayoshi sama, do whatever you think you must, and as much as you want. If you need help, we'll provide it any time. Thank you. Again. I'm so glad you remembered me. I'm so glad too. Nina and I smile at each other. But it really is good that she remembered me like she did. I have an idea. Oh? If you want to be strong, how about getting some lessons from Lise? What? What? Lisa and I speak up at the same time. Lisa's very strong? I know that already, Nina. She exudes it. As I glance at Lise, I can feel a deadly aura emanating from her. I'm sure that I shouldn't accept that offer. I don't think I could su survive Lisa's training. Thanks for the offer, Nina, but you'd be alone if Lisa was busy with my training. And I can't let you be alone. Put both my hands on her shoulders and tell her that quickly. But, Tadayoshi sama. Okay, I need to get back to running. My master will be angry if I'm too late. See you, Nina. I started running without listening to Nina, but I set my feet a few steps later. Tadayoshi sama? I can't play with you today because of my training, but you're welcome to visit any time. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Once I've confirmed that Nina is smiling, I run away from them quickly. Because she would have convinced me to train with Lise, which would lead to a terrible fate. Uh-oh. After some more running, I stand still again. I just realized I'm still lost. Oh well, I have to return to land on my own. <laughs>